Today, I want to talk about one of the most interesting characters in the Star Wars universe, in my opinion, Darth Vader's apprentice named Starkiller. Chronologically, his story took place between the third and fourth episodes, that is, after Anakin became Darth Vader, but before the Resistance was formed. It was a troubled time in a galaxy far, far away, and it's times like this that truly outstanding individuals emerge. Starkiller was one of them. After Order 66, all the Jedi of the galaxy were outlawed and exterminated. Those who managed to escape were later found and killed by Darth Vader himself. One such Jedi in hiding was Starkiller's father named Kento. Vader found his hideout and after a fight was able to defeat him. But after Kento's death, a force-wielding boy, the son of a Jedi, was discovered in his home. Vader didn't kill him, but decided to make him his secret apprentice that no one would know about. Why did he need to do this? Vader planned to overthrow Palpatine in the future, and a powerful apprentice like Galen Marek, the boy's real name, in whom Vader sensed a greater force, could help him do that. Darth Vader had trained Galen for several years and was his mentor in the dark side of the Force. Plus, he had Blueberry assigned a droid programmed to periodically attack him unexpectedly, so that Galen would become accustomed to living in constant danger and develop his intuition. And the training was not in vain. The apprentice grasped everything on the fly and soon became a skillful user of the Force. When Darth Vader realized this, he gave him the name Starkiller and began assigning him his first tasks. Starkiller's assignments mostly became tracking down Jedi in hiding. He managed to find a few of them and defeat them. After another successful assignment, Vader summoned Starkiller to him, promising that they were now ready to stand together against the Emperor. But it turned out to be the opposite. Palpatine's spies informed him that Darth Vader had created a secret apprentice for himself, and the Emperor then ordered Vader to kill Starkiller. Vader did so, and impaled his apprentice with a sword from his back, and then threw him into outer space. But his fate far from ended there. In space, Starkiller was picked up by a droid, and it soon turned out that this droid was sent by Vader himself. According to his plan, now that Palpatine was sure of Starkiller's death, the latter would be able to perform his teacher's tasks without too much attention. Vader instructed his apprentice to lead the rebellion against the Empire in order to divert Palpatine's attention to him and weaken his forces. Starkiller agreed and joined the resistance movement. But soon his teacher betrayed him again. Starkiller successfully fought against the Empire, and because of his actions, some senators joined the resistance and pledged their support. But during a general meeting the rebels were overtaken by Vader and his stormtroopers. It turned out that he had no intention of killing Palpatine, and that the two of them were using Starkiller to gather all of the Empire's enemies in one place. The battle resulted in Starkiller being badly wounded again, but still managed to survive. He then decided to move to the light side of the Force, and became the Jedi Galen Marek. Realizing the treachery of his teacher and Emperor, Galen Marek decided to continue fighting them, but for real. His first order of business was to free the rebel leaders that Vader was holding on the Death Star. Galen Marek was able to sneak in, and that's where his finest hour came. He stormed through the ship, destroying all enemies in his path. That's how he got to Darth Vader and dueled him. Galen's strength was so great that he was able to overpower his teacher, but at the last moment he did not finish him off. After that, he fought Palpatine, defeating him as well, something almost no one has ever been able to do. But at the decisive moment, Palpatine unleashed a lightning bolt of power that could have killed everyone around him, including the leaders of the rebellion who were being held here. To prevent that from happening, Galen Marek took the full force of that strike upon himself and merged with the Force as a result. This is how he became a true hero of the Resistance and practically served as the main reason for its creation and development. Unfortunately, this character never entered the canon. His story is told only in the Star Wars, the Force Unleashed series of games and books. Rumor has it that he was supposed to appear in the Star Wars Rebels series, but the creators abandoned the idea at the last minute, because Starkiller is too powerful, and understandably so, if you introduce a character who single-handedly defeated Vader and Palpatine into the canon, the balance of power would be shaken.